in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make um, Photoshop CS3 brushes hmm. okay first you're going to get your brush your image pack I'm going to use this one see how pretty okay um, save image as um, save it to wherever you want I already have mine saved here so I'm not going to save it you can close that and go to file and open then you're going to go to wherever your image is which mine is in here here it is <clears throat> okay once you have your image open click on the polygonal lasso tool or whatever the hell that is okay to get this um, right click on there and then click that whatever it's called <laughs> okay anyways once you do that go ahead and um, draw point to point around the brush you want to make so when you have the little marching ants you go up to edit then you go to define brush preset you're going to see here the sample of your brush then you're going to see a name which you can erase and you put where you star. right and okay and then I like to delete it so that I already know that I got that brush and I can move on so once you have your brush open, let me go ahead and show you what it will look like. To use your brush, you go to brushes. Then you go over here, so this little can of brushes there. You go all the way down, and here's the brush we just made. Now it's going to be here um, until you close Photoshop. Once you close it, it's going to arrange itself, I think, by alphabetical order. Like, um... I had made some sparkly grapes or something. Uh, I just want to see if I can find them. Forget it. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere in there. I have too many brushes. So um, don't be scared. If you're like, oh my god, I lost my brushes. You didn't lose them. It's in there somewhere. Okay, so I picked it. Colors. Let's do it in pink. Whoops. And you have your sparkly star. Let me, let me put it in friggin' in black so that you can see the the effect of my sparkly stars. You can find the this image pack on my site under brushes. Um go that's the white color now to change brush sizes you would go here you can make it bigger or you can go right here and just right click and make it bigger or smaller you can even just right click and go through the brushes here Let's see I have a brush You can change your colors over here. Oh. So you can have pink sparklies. Or you can do this, whatever you like, or style, which is that, whatever that is. I don't know, I'd never used that really. So there you go, so that's how you load a brush from an image pack into Photoshop. Um, some of you may actually be thinking, what if it already comes in a pack or whatever, some, some websites have like a Photoshop already pack um, brush set, in which case when you download it, it should be in a zip file. When you open the zip file, you're going to... Um, unzip it and you can put it anywhere like I put all my new files into my desktop 
Let me show you. I think I have some around here. Somewhere. I put it under resources. Okay. And it should look something like this. Let me see. Hold on. It would look something like this. It says brushes. I'm not loading these because I don't use those brushes. I kind of just downloaded them and there they are. Okay. But when you have something like this, you can just save it anywhere. Then you go to documents, go to Adobe, no, that's not it, I'm sorry. You go to your computer, the C drive, you go to the C drive, go to program files, Adobe, um, then you go to Photoshop CS3, go to presets, and go to brushes. And you put that file in here. See here all the brush files I have. It's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> so that's a good thing about PSP that the brushes come already in one of these little icons. There's like a hundred brushes in there in each of these things, um, depending on who packs it and how many brushes they put in there. So it's pretty awesome. Um, the same thing goes for patterns, like this pattern. Um, for styles, they have a lot of stuff for for Photoshop. In fact, more than for PSP, which is really cool about Photoshop, you know. Um, so that's about it. Um, any questions? Just message me. Ta ta for now.